This is Greg Vincent, editor of AgWeb, talking to Farm Journal economist, president of Utterback Marketing, Bob Utterback. Bob, uh, you're seeing some correlation between wheat basis and corn basis. A lot of farmers probably are not aware in the Midwest that plant corn and beans don't even think about wheat. It's just a commodity out there produced out in the wet. But I, I, there's a warning sign I would like to flag out to all corn and soybean producers. The corn spr- that was spread in July wheat now, because wheat is very, very cheap right now, but it's a nearby wheat, and basis is wide. That means the elevators don't want it right now. But the July wheat futures for 2010 compared to July 2011, the carry in the market, if you was to hypothetically buy your wheat at harvest, store it all the way and deliver it against the 2011 contract, which we know theoretically is tough to do in storage, but the market is paying you almost 96 cents gross margin before basis adjustment. And if you was paying a client, I'm going to average it 40 cents to store it for interest and interest cost and storage cost. That's 80 cent. I think there's between a 70, 80 cent gross margin available to the elevator to store corn and store wheat. So, and when you look at corn, it's not even the ballpark. Beans, absolutely not the ballpark. So, what the implication? Correlated between right now, where is the spread between beans? Beans, are, there is no carrying beans. It's an inverted carry chart. There's no carry of, of any substance yeah. in the corn. So, if you're going to put corn beans in the bin, what's well, a very, you're not paying for storage costs at all. It's a negative storage cost. Corn's about. 30, about 28 cents from December to July. Uh, if you go year to year, it's about 30, about 35 cents. But it costs you almost 30 cents to store it. So there's there's some return, but not a fantastic return in corn. So now why are we going to see this correlation? So the, the, the problem basis? this creates is if you're a business, you know, there's an old saying I like to say. I was taught by a young a farmer one time: don't follow the rhetoric, follow the money, and that will tell you the story. The money is. The commercial elevator, he's in the business to make money. He makes it through turning his inventory over, basis management, and spread management. Mm-hmm. He's in the business to store. And if he buys corn at the, uh, that we did uh, harvest, he's going to fill his bins up with wheat. Anderson did this a couple of years ago, and it really affected basis patterns in the eastern corn market. So if you fill the bins up with wheat, and then two months later you got corn harvest coming, and the elevator's full of wheat, corn's going to go on the ground, what's basis going to do? basis is going to come under pressure. So we could risk, the risk is, if we, and the transportation systems are already antiquated, cannot physically move it out of the interior fast enough. So you've got an antiquated system that can't move the product out of the market fast enough, and you've got the elevators it's forcing the farmers to store the grain on farm. Implication, if you have an HTA contract for fall bids and you have not locked up basis, you could be looking, I think, at 25 cents exposure in unexpected basis loss. And you need to be thinking, that's 25, that's on 100,000 bushel, that's 12,500 to $13,000 you could lose because of basis exposure. Is this risk there today, or is this something we're going to be it's looking at risk as we it, go it, into it's, the... It's, you know, the situation, the wheat carry right now is a fact. It's not a hypothetical, it is a fact. The wheat market is giving incentive for producers to store the wheat for a whole year mm-hmm. in a commercial level. And that's going to suck up inventory. And I think I don't think basis is really going to appreciably tighten for fall bids. What we're all waiting for basis to improve. I think we have a very big battle to fight. This will be a great opportunity for a feed hedger, for anybody end user wanting to buy product. This would be getting control of the fiscal control and having to buy this corn on wide basis could be a, a real coup. So is the focus going to be on this July 11 contract is where you really need to be focusing? What other I think it's issues? more the SEP. The SEP and OCK is where they're going to start focusing on. Uh, and this is for HTA contract. 11, uh, September and October 11. No, old 10. Okay. This, this falls, basis bids. If you got an HTK on the SEP or DS corn contract, you have risk immediately. Because the wheat, but it'll, it'll, it's not immediate. It'll, it'll start to become a real, very a real problem once wheat goes in to, is harvest here in July and August. So it'll really, you'll really start noticing it in September. That's when you'll really start seeing it. You'll be expecting the basis to tighten up for early basis corn bids, and it won't because there's no the, the elevator has no place to put it. All right, that's Bob Utterback, president of Utterback Marketing, Farm Journal economist. Thank you, Bob. My pleasure.